Terrence Muhammad, T-E-R-E-N-C-E, Muhammad, M-U-H-A, M-U-H-A-M-M-A-D, that's my name. And before you start the time, I just have to say this. I came all the way from North Carolina to be here. All the way. Hold on, I ain't even finished. I came all the way from North Carolina, spent almost 12 hours in Chicago airport yesterday, got out, went to Kansas City at 1 a.m. yesterday morning or this morning, slept in the airport, got a rental car at 5 a.m. and drove five hours into the snow to be here. So please give me my time. I just wanted them to know that we support Nebraska against, against the Keystone at Cell Pipeline. So once again, my name is Terrence Muhammad, and I am representing the Hip Hop Caucus, led by our CEO, Reverend Lennox Yearwood, one of the organizations that sponsored the largest climate control rally in the country, February 17th in Washington, D.C. As I stated, we are against the Keystone XL pipeline, and we also ask others to take a unified stand against this pipeline as well. The Hip Hop Caucus leverages the creative expression of hip hop to communicate what's going on in neglected neighborhoods and vulnerable communities of young urban adults and to provide a political and social voice of value. The Hip Hop Caucus involves a new generation in the democratic process with a meaningful platform and relevant programs created in a partnership with other leading organizations mobilizing supporters to collectively exercise their voices to shape policy affecting their lives and further advance 21st century civil rights. As citizens, as citizens of this country and as citizens of the world, we have a moral obligation to pursue environmental responsible decisions. And the Keystone XL Pipeline, KSL, is absolutely not responsible or moral. One of the most important legacies we can leave for our children and future generations is a clean and safe environment. Tar sand pipelines are one of the filthiest objects we can add to our environment. The resultant CO2 emissions and risky toxic spills are risks that far outweigh any benefits of this pipeline. We are not just speaking out against the KSL pipeline because it is our choice. We are saying we have no other choice if we want to stop fossil fuel pollution, reduce our contribution to global warming, and pursue more sustainable energy sources. We all have a right to a cleaner environment and to protect our health, ultimately our very existence. Now, I'm, I'm coming to that end. I'm coming to that end. Trust me. The pipeline also exposes itself as an environmental justice issue as well. The pipeline will not be built through pretty, gated, suburban developments. This pipeline will not be next to a private schools or prestigious university. It will be built next to neighborhoods and homes of people whose no is not as strong. We can let the poor, we can let the poor or minority populations pay the price of a pipeline that will cost them their health. We think not. We cannot. So knowing what we know about KSL, it seems remiss irresponsible and selfish to burden the future generations with the consequences of a pipeline that really is not all that beneficial in the first place and we have an immediate obligation to help protect those unrepresented citizens that will feel the first environmental blow of this pipeline. Join us and say no to KSL. And this, and this is not just a civil rights this is our lunch counter moment of the 21st century, and it's our right to exist on the planet. Thank you. Thank you.